Hey there folks, Rel here, and welcome to Planetside 2 Basic Training. Today we'll be offering up a brief introduction to the Engineer Infantry class. We'll talk about the equipment you'll have access to, and share some tips to help get you started down the right path. Engineers are identified by their bulky backpacks and wrist devices. Alongside the Combat Medic, the Engineer is one of the most prominent support classes in the game, able to repair vehicles and base defenses, resupply the ammo of allies on the field, and lay a variety of mines and turrets. When it comes to equipment, your engineer has access to shotguns, SMGs, carbines, and battle rifles for your primary weapons. Shotguns and SMGs are meant for close-range situations, where battle rifles are a long-range support option. Carbines are a primary weapon that's shared with the Light Assault class and typically has shorter effective range than an assault rifle or LMG, but also has traits to suit. The engineer's repair tool is probably one of the most valuable parts of the class. The tool can repair a base's turrets, generators, and terminals, and it can also be used to repair allied max units and vehicles. You'll notice when an ally is in need of repair by either seeing a damaged health bar or a wrench icon above the target's head. These icons will also appear on the minimap. To repair an ally, just press and hold the left click while looking at them. This will restore their health over time, but your repair tool will overheat in the process. If you stop repairing for a moment, the tool will cool back down, but if you do end up overheating it completely, it'll take you a little bit longer to cool off. The next crucial addition to the class is the ability to drop ammo packs. To do this, just press F, which is your default ability key. A dropped ammo pack will resupply the ammunition of allied and enemy infantry in the nearby area. The ammo pack may also be destroyed by gunfire and EMP grenades, and only lasts for a certain duration, so be sure to place them often. After dropping an ammo pack, you won't be able to drop another one for a short time, and your previous ammo pack will disappear, that is, unless your ammo pack certification line is at maximum rank, in which case you can have up to two ammo packs on the field at any given time. On top of the repair tool and ammo pack, you also have access to a few different deployable turrets. By default, you're given the anti-infantry monoturret, which has a protective shield and a machine gun that can deal continuous damage to enemy infantry without running out of ammo. You'll also be able to unlock the anti-vehicle turret, which launches slow-firing, wire-guided rockets that deal high damage to both enemy infantry and vehicles alike. Lastly, you can unlock the automated Spitfire turret, a fragile place-and-forget turret that will automatically attack nearby enemy infantry. In addition to the standard frag grenade, the engineer can unlock sticky grenades, which stick to the first surface they touch, and that includes allied or enemy infantry. Upon detonation, they'll deal a high amount of damage in a small area. The engineer class has access to the most deployables of any class in the game. In addition to the medical and restoration kits, which are universal unlocks available to all classes and will restore your health when used, you can also opt to equip a more explodey sort of device instead. C4 is an explosive that's tossed out by clicking the right mouse button and then detonated by clicking the left. These explosives will stick to the ground, walls, and enemy vehicles, and can be detonated remotely at any time. Anti-personnel mines will explode when enemy infantry get too close, dealing a good chunk of damage in an area, and anti-tank mines will deal massive damage to enemy vehicles that run over them. It's also worth noting that when your repair tool is at maximum rank, you can defuse enemy anti-tank mines in the same way that you'd repair an allied vehicle. Just look at them, and then you hold left click. When you're starting to build out your engineer class, it's a good idea to prioritize upgrading the repair tool and ammo pack. Not only will that help those around you, but you'll also earn experience more quickly as well. If you're interested in learning more about what to put your certification points into on the engineer class, you can find a link to a guide in the video description below. Before we cut you loose, let's take a look at some helpful advice from veteran engineers throughout the community. Viva Visor says, Resupplying resets your repair tool's overheat bar. Double tap E at an equipment console or your burning deployed Sunderer whenever your repair tool overheats and you still have things to repair. Beast G01 says, Your turret is equal parts an offensive and defensive weapon. Use it as cover or to block doorways, even if you aren't manning it. Vasend says, Don't stack ammo packs near each other. Instead, spread them out so a larger area is covered, giving people more options to restock ammo from. And just to be clear here, he's saying that if you see an ammo pack that's already on the ground, go put yours somewhere else so that more players receive the benefit. 
Hopefully these quick tips will help you become a little bit more acclimated to the game and help you enjoy your time playing the Engineer class in Planetside 2. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and if you have any questions about the Engineer class or any advice that you can offer up to newer players, go ahead and leave those thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks very much folks, we're all signing off.